What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you stick around and see what we can get out of this Japanese Pokemon booster box. Uh, Blue Sky Stream. Uh, my latest opening, if you hadn't seen it, I'll link it up above and below, um, was Towering Perfection. This is the other half of the Japanese set that uh, makes up um, Evolving Skies for English uh, along with EV Heroes as well. But as you look at the box on the different views, you'll see what Pokemon we have under this set. But super excited today. Hopefully we can get the alternative artworks Rayquazas, Dragonites, just all the dragons are in this set. So I'm super excited. Before we get that open though, I'm gonna open up this little uh, pack of stuff that I got from Nerd Quirk Collectibles Collections, I think. Nerd Quirk Collections. Uh, this is where I bought the uh, Skystream, Blue Skystream pack or box from so make, be sure to go check them out on uh, I guess really uh, eBay they have their own eBay this is a another uh, brick and mortar store that's whoa, that's uh, local to me but check them out it's where I got this booster box it's also uh, so be sure to check them out on eBay. I'll leave there the link below. Uh, Instagram, they just started one, and Snapchat, so check them out. Uh, and if you use my promo code STRAY, S-T-R-A-Y, you get 5% off of your uh, purchase on their eBay store. So I'm excited to see what this, the little, the little uh, freebies they got. So it looks like we got some Japanese Pokemon cards more is it legendary treasures i think that's it we got ooh i was actually looking at someone from instagram to buy this card so that's actually works out pretty well because <laughs> i do like hydrogen it is a thank you card i know you can see the thank you stamp right there and then chronicle pack this is Yu-Gi-Oh. is this like in english no it's not english I guess it's Japanese as well. It's either Japanese or Korean, one of the two. But super pumped about that. Well, I guess we'll just open this pack first. I don't, I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, so. Uh, yeah, we'll just, just rip it, I guess. I don't really know if there's any tricks. That looks pretty cool. A little beaver. It's kind of like a chestnut kind of looking thing. That one's this one's holographic. This one's kind of holographic. That one looks pretty cool. And that's it. These are these are definitely have a more of a glossy feel, glossy finish to them. Uh, but yeah, that was the Chronicle Pack first. Wave. I don't know if you know much about Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but that's what we got. Let's see what we can get out of this. I don't. Is it Legendary Treasures? I, I don't quite remember. I know it's because that's like the uh, uh, Hidden Fates, right? Little bird trio we got there. We got Snow Runt, and it looks like we got something. It's a hollow Savali, right? Or is that type null? A little hollow card looking pretty cool. But we got that. And then we got the Hydrogen. This is actually reverse hollow, which is actually pretty interesting. Uh, if I get another one, I'll probably take it out of the pack, but I think for now I'm just gonna leave it leave it in, leave it sealed like that, but it's okay because we have this blue sky stream and this set is just absolutely 
Excuse me, ridiculous. Where is... All right, there we go. Super excited. Each Japanese booster box comes with 30 packs. Each pack has five cards in them. If I can open it. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, baby. Whew, look at that. That's good. What a good looking box. Alright, so we're going to take one half here. There we go. And we got... Oh, baby. Look at all them. Look at that. Got 15 packs ready to go, ready to be open. So let's hope we can get something good. Now this set is probably my preferred set out of this and Towering Perfection. Uh, cloister. Okay. Okay. Uh, but we got just a crazy amount of cool looking cards in this set. Uh, you got, I mean, there's Dragonite, there's Rayquaza, there's uh, Gyarados. So we are definitely Hollow Victini. Not too bad. We are definitely uh, not not uh, short on chase cards for this set everything there's there's just so literally so much I can't even think of anything and everything that's in here shoulder ooh Gyarados V card that's what I like to see we got a lot of just crazy cool looking cards that's why this set is in demand and the Evolving Skies, the English counterpart, is also just going to be crazy, flaffy, uh, to collect the, I believe, actually I haven't looked up prices for, in a while, so the last time, last I heard, but this was a few weeks ago, so it, it probably changed the alternative artwork, uh, Wikwaza VMAX was like Eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, just raw, just by the, for the card by itself, which is insane, for a new Pokemon card. So I don't know how much it is now. It's been a while since I checked. Maybe I can put on the price on the screen. Chansey, look at that. Well, it's a cute artwork. And a Reggie, whatever. I don't know. I've. I haven't even finished that part of the DLC for the actual game, so that's actually like my first time seeing that Pokemon. I just know it's a it's a different it's a Galar uh, Reggie, Shauna, and a Trevnaught uh, V card. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, Drag alternative Aru Drag Dragonite is definitely. I want the alternative Rayquazas. Uh, I don't think Gyarados has. One. Gyarados has a pretty cool little uh, full art though, which is nice. Turtonator. But so far we only got two two V cards and a couple Hollows. So. That's okay. We still got a ton of packs left to open. Vulpix. Beware. But super excited about this box. I bought this box a while ago and then it went on vacation. And then I was like, I have to, cannot wait to open this box. But we got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Five packs left on the right side. 
I feel like the Japanese boxes just go by so quickly because it's only five cards in a pack. Oof, I thought that was gonna be something. Not a bad Toxtricity Hollow though. So we got three hollows. That's okay though, because I think we're just leading up to something big. That's what I feel like. That's what I hope will happen when you get, you know, just a so-and-so side. But then the next side is gonna be ridiculously crazy. Daryumaka. And the VMAX Trevenant, look at that. That's a great looking card. I do feel like the Trevenant's kind of more of a common pull in this set, which is okay. Ooh, look at that. That texture, so good. That's okay though. Because these diamonds still means we got room for, we could get another VMAX. That's definitely a possibility too. We got room for a rainbow rare, some sort of secret rare. A little chancy again, staying true, just chilling in the grass. And Flaffy. Two more packs here on the right side. I feel like these Japanese packs are easier now to open. When I first started opening Japanese packs, it took me a while to, to get used to opening them. And a, uh, was that, Jump Luff? Hollow card. Looks like a Rapid Strike one, too. Claydol. Uh, Simi Sage. Sand Slash. Sand Scorch, or Centipede. And Switch, it looks like. Alright, so we are done with one half of the box. I'll move these cards to the side. And now we got the left side. Excuse me. Alright, so let's see what we can get out of here. Cloister. Bagon, one of my favorites. Puppet Ninetales, that's a super cool looking card. And some gloves again. I feel like this set has a lot of different gloves. Oh goodness. Alright, one to the front. We got Zinnia. Oof. Hopefully that means something. Hopefully that means we get a Rayquaza. Shauna. Because she is in the artwork of one of them. Vulpix. Ooh, Zygarde. Okay. I, didn't, I don't think I realized he was in the set. That's pretty cool. It's a hollow card. Alright, let's see what we can get out of this one. We got some popsicles, boys. Time to get ready for the end of summer. Get your last popsicle in now. Trop Tropius. And beware. Beware for what is inside of this pack right here. Because it's going to blow you away with how good the artwork is. We got Happiny, or Blissey, sorry. Uh, Sandshrew, the middle one, I don't remember, Stantler, and uh, Wishy Washy, so nothing crazy so far on this left side. And unfortunately, Japanese boxes now don't guarantee a secret rare. Uh, usually, they usually do Mareep. I forgot, I just totally blanked. Tornadus, or Landers. Uh, hollow card. Man, we are getting a bunch of hollows. Can we get, please, can we get something spicy, something super spicy, something alternatively spicy would be great. Bag on. And this cool looking uh, little stadium card. I forgot. I don't know the English one of that, but it looks pretty cool. That would be a cool gold card if there isn't a gold card for that one already. Uh, mining. Baltoy. And a VMAX Gyarados. Yeah, look at that. 
definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh my goodness, look at that. VMAX, ooh, so good. So we did get a second VMAX, and definitely one that I am excited about. Uh, we got a handful left here. So hopefully we can get one more. I bet we can get two more V cards and hopefully we can get a uh, something rainbow or alternative alternative in here. A Dragonite V card, okay. So I knew we were gonna at least get one more V card. But I love this one. Oh look at it, it's so cool. I think Dragonite looks really good with the the dragon color. Uh, some of them don't really I feel like look well with the dragon color, the dragon type color. But I think Dragonite looks pretty pretty dope there. We got Applin and some sort of scroll that. Is all up, all up in these sets. We got scrolls and we got gloves. Dayumaka and oh, whew, that one got me. I thought we had him. It's Salamence Hollow card. That is a cool looking card. Oh my goodness! I must leave that one up. One of my favorites. I do enjoy the dragon card, so of course I gotta get all the dragons I can get. We only have five more packs left. Oh my goodness. This is going by too fast. I definitely need to get some more boxes of Blue Sky Stream. But they are in demand. Ooh, we got the evolution line right there. Bell toy to Clay Doll. These like little circles are going everywhere. Nine Tails, such a good artwork. Hard. Oh my goodness. Wishy washy. Oh boy, three cards left. My goodness. Alright, so we got Terminator, Vulpix, uh, oh, I can't remember the name right now. Chansey. Oh my goodness. Yeah, boy. We got the full art. Oh baby, Rayquaza! Look at that with Zinnia! Oh my goodness! Look at that card! Ooh, this is definitely one we wanted to get. Oh baby! Look at that! Such a good-looking card. I mean, its centering is just maybe a little top heavy like very very little but oh my goodness this is this is the one or at least it's one of the ones oh boy look at that oh whew, what a pull oh my goodness we have two packs left there's no way we can top that card oh my goodness this I love this set Shauna, another V, or another uh, Hollow Dictini. Last pack, this is it, this is the last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's hope we can, there's no way. Oh my goodness, I still can't believe we just got that. We got Blissey, is it Skip Loom, is that the one? Yeah, I think that's Skip Loon. Shelter. Schoolboy. And the very last card of today's opening is a Beware, but holy smokes. Totally worth it. Let's get the cards together and see what we got. Oh my goodness, what an opening. So, all right, so we're just gonna go through these hollows that I got. Um, 
looking pretty good. We got quite a few of them actually. Four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. We got the Salamence, one of my personal favorites. But then we got the Ultra Rares. <clears throat> Starting things off with this Trevenant V card. We got Gyarados V card, definitely one of my favorites. So super excited about this one. A Dragonite, another favorite of mine. Just really adding it to dragons, I'm like, I love it. Uh, and then we got a VMAX Trevenant. Now I love Phantup. Phantup's one of my favorite Pokemon cards. Trevenant, mm, he's all right. Uh, but we've got the Trevenant VMAX. Gyarados VMAX now. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, and then what is this? Behind it, oh my goodness. One of the big chase cards of the whole set. We got it, the alternative artwork, full art, Rayquaza. And I looked on eBay, the last uh, one that sold went for $220. So, definitely an expensive card. I don't even know what a PSA would go for right now, but look at that beauty of a card. Oh my goodness. Um, so one thing I noticed that we didn't get a whole lot of hits, but we got the big hit, which is great as compared to the Towering Perfection where we got a lot, we got a couple more hits than that. Uh, some rainbows and a couple of Vmaxes, but hey, this is definitely one of the chase cards, one that I want and one that deserves and probably needs. A little top loader here. I don't know if I have a card saver somewhere, but we do have this top loader. But, oh baby, look at that. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you stuck around to see what we got. Subscribe if you want to see more openings because I'm definitely super excited. I got some more booster boxes coming in. Uh, so definitely subscribe, like the video. Please let me know what, you, what your favorite pull of the day was. I definitely know mine, so. So excited, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video, see ya.